Greetings everybody and welcome back to the Awesome Lindsay channel. So I have a convention this weekend, so I thought it'd be a good time to show you the gear that I bring for event photography. And I've also been asked to do some simple portraiture. So I'm packing a bit more than normal so I can get a few nice looking portraits. Uh, really quickly, let's start off with the cameras. So I have a Canon 5D Mark III and, and I have an extra one that I'll be putting right here. I have four flashes. Um, I have a V860 version two and a V850 version two. Um, I'll be using these on camera. And then two AD200 Pros. I have one here and then one up here. I really love how I can take four flashes in one Pelican case. I have extra batteries for those. I have chargers for all those things in this case here. And of course the cables for them. Uh, I have a tether cable, uh, just in case I want to shoot tethered when we do the portrait slash headshots. I have an extra little um, power strip. This is pretty cool. It's like a travel one. You can wrap this thing all the way around. And then you have um, three extra little power or uh, Edison plugs. Then I'll be taking a 24 to 70 uh, 2.8 lens and a 50. 1.8 and then a 70 to 200 2.8 lens uh, along with a camera strap. I have the mounts for the 8200 and then I have my trigger for the 8200 Pros just in case and then various batteries, um, SD card case and various odds and ends. Oh and this is a Pelican 1510 case. I highly recommend these for traveling. Um, this will fit up in the overhead compartment. Uh, you can get a lid organizer here for like 20, 25 bucks. They're pretty cheap. Uh, they're very durable. And I love that you can use them as like a Apple box. You can stand on them and sit on and all that stuff. So highly recommend the 1510 case for traveling. I have another case here. This is a Pelican 1560 case. Uh, this one's a little bit bigger, a little bit deeper. I'm actually gonna carry all my clothes and everything in here, but I'm also taking a couple extra items in here. This is a five in one reflector. This is probably three feet. Uh, that was my small one, as you can see. I might be taking this umbrella if it fits after everything is packed. I prefer to take this. This is a Westcott Rapid Box. I actually have another video on this with uh, the 8200 Pro. And then I have this small little Manfrotto folding stand. This should all fit in with the clothes I'm bringing. I'm going for three and a half days. Another thing I'm bringing is this Apple TV. This is an older version in just like a headphone bag. This is the uh, 1080 version, like the first one that came out. I have this an HDMI cable and the power cable in there, but I bring this for when I do tethered shooting. Let's say there's a, usually there's a TV or something next to it. I can just plug this into the TV and then airplay my computer to that TV. And then people can see a large version of the images I'm taking. Um, and I just think it provides a little bit better experience for people who are being photographed. So on day one, it starts with an early morning flight to the convention center with a few hours to settle in. And then later that day is when we photograph the headshots. So we find a spot in the convention center with a nice background to do some headshots and group photography. What I'm using here is an 8200 Pro on camera left, and then I'm balancing it with ambient light. This works great for individuals. It was smaller than I'd like for a group of six, but for a travel setup, this worked really well. There wasn't a TV nearby, so I wasn't able to use my Apple TV to airplay, but I was able to tether to my computer so the client could see the images. All right, this is our convention hall. You can see that it's not a huge space. Uh, what I've been doing is using the V860 version two on my camera and then a Godox 8200 Pro off of camera. First session, I had it on stage behind here, shining onto the speakers because they're standing kind of in the middle of stage. Looked cool as a nice backlight. And then people kind of shifted more towards the podium. So then I scooted it back behind here uh, more of a side light. And then uh, this day and this session, I have it back in the back of the room 
with an umbrella. And I'm thinking that looks a little nicer. It's uh, lighting up faces a little bit more, um, although this is doing it as well. So what I've been doing with this flash has been using it to bounce off the ceiling, uh, despite where the 200 Pro is, and kind of just using that more as a main light or an accent light, and this more of a hill light. So the last piece of luggage I brought was uh, this backpack for just carrying under the, uh, putting under the chair on the plane. This backpack's pretty cool, mostly because of this big pocket. So it does have these like water bottle pockets and a few other things, but I'll show you some of the stuff that I have in here. Uh, I'm kind of a gearhead myself, so this is kind of my gear pack. This is a, a large light, it has magnetic um, thing on the back and a carabiner. There's a couple other carabiners too. These fit into uh, this Molly web strapping here. This is just a very bright light if I need it. Um, this thing also has one of those uh, RFID pockets. You can put your phone in there or your credit cards or something, which is kind of rad. And again, this is just a large space that I can throw things that I need throughout the day. And I don't have to like compartmentalize too much right in here. And that's what's really cool. But there are a lot of pockets for when I uh, want to put things in certain places and know exactly where they are. So this has my laptop, an iPad, um, this is some wireless microphones. These are just an inexpensive Comica. Um, they're like the DJI uh, road type microphones. I just had these sent to me, so I keep these on or in my backpack all the time in case I need to uh, do a run and gun something sort of thing. I have a uh, mount for my phone for filming YouTube videos. It's just a large clamp mount for the larger phones. And then on the back here, I have this cold shoe for putting those microphones on if I need to like wear one and keep the receiver on here. And then just a little tripod base. I have um, a GoPro. This is just a Hero 5. And this has just a magic arm with a magic clamp or just some jaws. And this way I can put my GoPro anywhere I want and film whatever. I can also take this off with the quarter 20 thread and interchange these two around if I want to put my phone on one of the mounts or the GoPro somewhere else. I have this preparedness pack. This just has stuff that I need to fix anything or to fix problems. There's a little first aid kit in here, some band-aids and neosporin, things like that. This has some shrink tubing, safety pins, 3M uh, adhesive stuff, some shout wipes for stains, pieces of paper for making notes if I need to leave a note somewhere. There's a little bit of duct tape in the back there. There's a lighter with some glue sticks. In case I need to like glue something together, I can use the lighter to melt the glue. Um, some gloves, the uh, latex, not latex, but yeah, I think these are latex gloves. This is a tarp kind of thingy if I need to, if it's like raining or if, you know, whatever, it's like a two by three tarp. Some more, I think there's more paracord and there's these little carabiner clips. Oh, there's a magnetic carabiner. And there's some of these um, night eyes, little, uh, tie down carabiner clips. So I can usually just solve many problems with what's in this case here. And then I have another pocket for uh, for dongles. I have a foldable cup in case I need to drink some water. Below here is a battery pack. It has some built-in charging cables already in it, USB-C and lightning. You can plug your own into it and it has wireless charging, which is really handy. And then it's also got a plug that you can just plug this straight into the wall and, and charge it up because it's a battery pack. And you can use it while charging, which is a big thing for me. I also have a little tiny USB drive. This one has USB-C on one side, USB-A on another side. And then right in here is a micro SD card reader. So if I need to transfer files from my GoPro onto something on my iPad or my computer really quickly. I can just use this thing without pulling out the whole dongle. And then I have a bunch, like a carabiner of other preparedness stuff. This thing is a USB light. Um, you can plug this into a power bank and it has a multicolored light on it. This is a Gerber shard that has some tools, little pry bar, um, screwdrivers, things of that nature, a nail file, because I'm always catching my nails on stuff. Uh, another carabiner, some tweezers, um, another multi-tool for a keychain. So I keep this one mostly for the wrenches. You can see the steps inside for the different size bolts. And there's two types of wire strippers. 
There's the small blade under the gold rotating screwdrivers, and then the V-shaped slot uh, at the end, which can also double as like a nail puller or pry tool. And this other, it's a like five in one USB charging cable or just a connector cable where you can pull these two these ends apart and it's like USB and you can charge like something quickly if you don't have extra cables, which I have extra cables in here in the backpack. I just use this thing just in a pinch or something like that. Cool thing about this is the lightning connector actually doubles as a micro USB connector. And the last thing I have in here is one of these uh, battery powered LED RGB lights. Just to, it fits in the pocket pretty nicely and I bring it on these trips just in case I need it for anything. So I usually have lots of lights. So I know it's not a photography gear bag, but it is a, you know, has a lot of gear that I use for photography and it comes in handy. So that's the last piece of uh, luggage that I brought for this trip. All right, for the last portion of the convention, they wanted some social media images. This is a newly founded direct sales company. And one of the other requests we had was to get some images of the attendees posing and interacting with the products for their social media use. So in this spare hotel room, I'm using an AD200 Pro and it's paired with a shoot through umbrella acting as the window light. And then I have the V860 bouncing off the ceiling for fill light. And depending on the pose, I'd either handhold the speed light or mount it on camera or set it on a table or something. They also requested about 25 of the best images from the day at the end of each day. So there was a lot of shooting and then heading back to the room to cull and edit. So I've been using one of these Godox VB18 batteries. This came with my V850 originally and I've been using it in my V860 version two. And I've been shooting today from nine in the morning till about nine at night on eighth power and above. So quarter and half, not full power. Uh, but this thing has barely pulled away one bar from the battery. So this battery has last quite a while for being how old it is. I'm pretty impressed. All right, everyone. Hopefully this video gave you some ideas for gear to bring when you do your next event. Uh, let me know if this is stuff you already use when you shoot events or if there's anything cool that I might have missed, leave me a comment. I'm always interested in knowing about cool ideas and new gear. And if you guys have any other questions, leave those in the comments field. I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks everyone for watching.